At Renishaw, we continue to develop solutions that help manufacturers to meet the ever-increasing demands to reduce costs, reduce scrap and increase precision. These demands result in a need for tighter part tolerances, extended tool life and solutions that can cope with thermal variation. Here we'll see how Renishaw's new IPC software provides process feedback with the equator gauging system to deliver these benefits. But before we can control a process, the foundations must be stable. This means checking a machine's performance and correcting for any errors, making sure the tools are set correctly, and finally, making sure that your part is located well. Then production can begin. Next, we transfer the machine part to the equator system to be measured. This could be manually or automatically using a shuttle system or robot. The equator then measures the part using the proven principle of mastering to remove the effects of daily and seasonal thermal cycles on shop floor measurement. IPC uses recent historical data to control tool offsets. This keeps the machining process centered. Corrections can be made to the last part or based on trends. The controller receives the feedback and corrects the next part to be cut. This type of closed loop control enables parts to be produced closer to nominal, enables the reduction of scrap and enables longer tool life. IPC software is compatible with selected FANUC, Mazak and Akuma controllers. We're currently working on compatibility with Mitsubishi and Siemens controls with others to follow. Renishaw are very pleased to receive the MM Award for Automation and Industry 4.0 for IPC this week. To find out more about how IPC software can help improve your manufacturing process, visit us at www.renishaw.com forward slash IPC.